Hi everybody, welcome back to a new booster box opening. Today we have the Japanese Fusion Arts booster box. Uh, very excited to, to open this and see what's in here. This just released a couple of months ago. So um, as we can see, Mew on the front cover here. Um, very excited, so let's dive right into it and see what we got within this uh, booster box. So the uh, Mew alternative art, of course, is one of the most sought after cards within this set. Um, let's see if we're able to, to pull that one. But um, there's some more great cards in here, of course. Um, some rainbow rare, some secret golden rare cards. So um, very excited to see uh, what's in here. So let's open it right up and then get started with the booster box opening so yeah as i mentioned uh many many great cards uh, included within this set um i think there are also some very nice trainer alternative arts and golden rare cards included within this set so here we go mew genesect on the front cover um very nice dragapult here as you can see let's open it right up and see these awesome booster packs wow Amazing. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's this amazing glistening effect in the eyes of Mew. So this is part one out of a three part series where we, we will be opening up this booster box. So uh, we will be opening 10 boosters today. So um, yeah, let's get started with the first 10 and see what's um, included within this uh, amazing set. So Japanese cards, very good value for money, high print quality, uh, slightly better even than English Pokemon cards, um, I think. So very nice to uh, to have these for collecting purposes and um, yeah add these to the collection uh, of course so opening up the first booster pack and let's get a look what's uh, in here so first up a metapod card then a growlith a delcaddy a golem uncommon card very nice and then uh, a trainer glove card, which is an uncommon card. So there's no guarantees rare in each booster pack within Japanese sets. However, within booster boxes, you have one guaranteed ultra rare and multiple rares guaranteed. So it's very valuable to buy a booster box when collecting uh, Japanese Pokemon cards next to the high print quality, of course. So let's move right along with the second booster pack and see what's included within uh, this one. So very nice, very nice um, artwork in the set overall, I think. One of the better ones that was released in, in recent times. So um, yeah, let's get started with the second booster pack. First up, a Snubble, then a Caterpie, a Rookidee, and then a Greedent V card. Nice, double rare, as you can see here on the bottom, number 85 out of 100. Very nice card, and then finally, an uncommon um, bird, bird uh, starter from the uh, Galar region. So very nice greed and V. Let me sleeve this one right up so we can get a better look at this specific card. So very nice. Uh, there we go. So greed and V, very nice uh, artwork, 210 HP. Very funny with all the berries he's uh, collecting. So very nice first uh, pull out of this uh, booster box. So let me put this into frame right here so we can see it for the rest of the video all right so moving right along with the third booster pack let's see what's uh, included in this one um, let's see if we're able to pull one of the rainbow rares uh, included within the set i believe the green is also a rainbow rare card within this set so very excited to see what we got here so first up a uh, musharna um, common card then a clam pearl very nice artwork um, then a Diggersby, very funny artwork as well. Dunsparce, uncommon, and then finally a Rainbow Energy, uncommon card. So no rare within this specific pack, but let's move on right along to the fourth booster pack out of this three-part series. So as I mentioned, please make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, to make sure you're the first one to know when part two and three will go live out of this booster box opening. So you don't miss any of the great pulls we might get from this uh, from this booster box. So, all right, let's move on right along with the uh, next booster pack. So, first up, a Galarian Zigzagoon, then a Mana, a Durant, a Toxtricity, very nice rare card. So this is a hollow card, if you can see it on the screen, very nice uh, hollow rare card. 
and then finally a Vickervolt uncommon, but very nice Troxtricity card. <coughs> very nice Pokemon, very cool Pokemon. Uh, one of the best inclusions from Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think. Poison Electric typing, very nice. So let's get a closer look at it. Um, the hollow effect, um, very nice. Hollow, great. Fusion style, let's move it to uh, next to the gradient so we can have it in frame for the duration of the video. All right, so moving right along already with the fifth booster pack. Um, very excited to see what uh, what else we can pull. As I mentioned, the V alternative card, me, uh, Mew V, very, very popular card. So let's see if we're able to pull that one from this uh, specific box. So first up, a Gumi, then a um, Grubbin, <laughs> very nice artwork with the wool style. Then a, um, a Vullaby, I, I believe, or the evolution of Vullaby. Then the um, newest uh, fighting type Pokemon from Spoken Sword and Shield. Um, the uncommon card. And then finally, a Sydney uncommon card. So, very nice uh, artwork pools, but no rare card within this specific booster. All right, so moving right along with the sixth booster pack. Um, Let's see if we're able to pull another rare. So it's been back and forth between uh, rare and no rares within these boosters. So let's see if we're able to pull one in this specific booster pack. All right. So uh, first up a 3P, uh, Staryu, then a Slegu, uh, an Ane, a Steelix, reverse or holo rare. Very nice holo rare Steelix. Very nice effect, uh, really great artwork. And then finally, uh, Viridian, uh, uncommon card. So, funny to see this is an uncommon card, one of the legendary Pokemon, but a uh, very nice hollow rare card of Steelix here. So let me sleeve this one right up so we can get a closer look and put it into frame. So it's been back and forth, a rare and no rare within every each booster pack. Um, very nice card, very nice Steelix. So great to add it to the collection. Let's move it right here in frame. So moving right along with the seventh booster pack. Um, very excited to see what's uh, included in this one. So yeah, let's get started right away. So first up a Bunnelby, very nice uh, artwork here at nighttime within the moon. Then a Toxel, like the first stage evolution of Toxtricity. Um, then an Excadrill, and then a Huntail, uncommon card, and a Gudra, uncommon card. So two uncommon cards within this one. Uh, funny to see that Gudra is also an uncommon card within this set. But very nice artwork overall. Really like the uh, style they, they went for here. So yeah, the eighth booster pack. So let's see if we're able to pull another rare from this one. If we follow the same trend that we've been seeing thus far within the uh, booster opening. So... Yeah, let's see what this one will bring. So first up, a Galarian Corsola common card. Then a um, the pre-evolution of the uh, Excadrill uh, Pokemon. Then the um, Smurgle, very nice common card. Wow, and then finally a Feraligator, Hollow Rare, very nice card. And then a Dancer Trainer uncommon card, as we can see here, but very cool Feraligator, my favorite starter overall. Totodile and Feraligator, very cool additions from the Johto region. So let me sleeve this one up right away. And now we can get a closer look. So very nice hollow effect, really like this card. Um, number 22 out of 100, 170 HP. Very cool uh, animation there, which, uh, which is uh, depicted here for Feraligator. So very cool card, very nice. happy to add this to the collection. So. Let's move on right along with the ninth booster pack. So four, four uh, hits thus far, four pulls. Very nice, as I mentioned, uh, Japanese booster boxes are guaranteed with, with uh, hollow rares and um, ultra rares, so very good value for money for collecting purposes. So first up, the uh, electric Pokemon, uh, Helioptile or something like that from, from Pokemon X and Y. Then Shalmet, uh, Graveler, then an Arcanine, uncommon, and then finally a Galarian Corsola, um, uncommon card. So 
Very nice to add these two to the collection as well. No rarer than this one, but let's move right along with the 10th booster pack and the final booster pack of this video. So let's see if we can uh, end with another rare or even better card within this specific booster pack. So let's open it right up and see what we got here. So first up a Skitty card, then a Togo de Maru, then a, a Clam Pearl, and then finally a Crabominal V, double rare. Very nice card, very happy to add it to the collection. And then finally an Walkie Talkie Uncommon Trainer card. So very nice to add Crabominal to the collection. Uh, let me sleeve it right up so we can have a good look at this final pool of the video. So very nice Crabominal V, another V card double rare. Very nice artwork. So that's it for the first part of this booster buck opening. So we had 10 booster packs, five hits. Very nice. So Greedent, Toxtricity, uh, Steelix, for Alligator, and then Crabominal V. Five very nice cars already. So please make sure if you like this video to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, so you're the first one to know when part two and three will go live. And then hopefully see you guys in the next part of this unboxing series. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.